Uh, another beautiful spring night here in the central Appalachians of the southwestern part of Virginia. I'm Marky watching the Garage Guy 879 channel. Here it is, early April 2023. My buddy Joe recently traded it for a revolver that I found some interest in. And uh, it has some similarities with my Taurus Model 82. This right here is the Arms Corps, or... Rock Island Armory M200 Chamber N38 Special, uh, six round capacity. It has some uh, cult features on it. You might say it's kind of a cult clone. Anyhow, you can see we're empty right here. And uh, I don't like dry firing these, but we're safe. Point name, safe direction. Good to go. Anyhow, uh, yeah seen some videos on here recently about this and you know it seems to do all right there's some people had some uh, problems with cylinder timing but uh, some of them sent it back to rock island they'd send them back they're fixed no problems and then some of them had to send them back more than once and they ended up sending them back a totally different new revolver okay but uh, this right here joe traded for it and he's put two cylinders full of a uh, 38 Special Plus P through it. Now, the manual says it is not Plus P rated. But some other people that's made videos about this model revolver have called Rock Island. And they said they don't recommend a steady diet a Plus P ammo through it. If you use it to carry, that'd be fine. But as far as getting out and just shooting in general, just use regular 38 special loads. I get that. Anyhow, what do you say we take it here on the bench under the bright light? We'll take a look at it. Let's make it happen. <clears throat> All right, my friends, here we are on the bench under the bright light. Rock Island Armory M200 revolver, chamber and 38 special, six round capacity. The frame is made out of an alloy steel. The action is a double action, single action. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Uh, you do have a four inch barrel. The finish is like a parkerized matte black. Very close and similar to my Taurus 82. The sights on here, some people call them combat sights. You have the notched rear sight right here. And you do have a very long blade at front sight right there. Okay, we've got to look at that. The uh, safety on here. You do have a transfer bar here in the back. Of course, right there. Most of these modern revolvers do have that feature. The weight on this. It is lighter than a... My Model 82 and uh, much lighter than my Smith & Wesson Model 64-8. Comes in at 28 ounces. Now when you rotate the cylinder, get ready to shoot. It rotates to the right. Okay, to the right. The cylinder release is a Colts uh, style right here, as you can see. You pull back on it, and it comes right out like it. All right. Here's one thing also. Barrel crown on here. Try and get a close-up of that. That barrel is maybe semi-crowned or not crowned at all. I prefer a revolver with the crown on it. Now the uh, M206 Rock Island revolver, the snubby version, the uh, end of the barrel on it is crowned. This right here, you have, uh, there's a lip right here. It's really not crowned. The grip on here, some people call it a very hard rubber to me. This is plastic, okay? And the plunger, the uh, plunger shroud, it's only halfway, but still yet, it seems to work very well. No grit, no resistance, or anything like that. Also, 
as far as the speed loader for this this is the uh, HKS number 10 speed loader right here now this goes for uh, Smith & Wesson model 64 or the Taurus model 82 now it does not work as well it's not exactly lined up with the uh, M200 but it will work you know you just get the uh, head of the bullet or the head of the round into the cylinder and just let go and then they'll slide on in they don't go as far in with this as it does on the Smith or Taurus but it is usable but you're not going to do any fast reloads with this right here alright so I don't know if they are any speed loaders available for this right here as of yet now let's go ahead and check out the trigger pull uh, we do have the uh, a zoom snap caps in here I've been I found these things to be really useful this past year they are steel and they do last all right let's do some single action right here we pull back all right point name safe direction no problem maybe about three pound trigger pull yeah maybe four one more time now here's something I found to be a really pleasant surprise on such a budget revolver alright the double action pull which wasn't bad at all on my Rugers and Tauruses I've always said hey you got that click and you can hold it all day long for better target acquisition this in here ain't half bad one click two clicks hey you can hold that and then pull back that's something you got to train for something you just got to get used to sometimes it's only one click two those two clicks are very close together but it is very doable I like this you know Joe you might have picked something up good here buddy what do you say we uh, take it down to a little shooting area and uh, put a few rounds through this of course, like I said earlier, it is not rated for plus P. Uh, Joe has shot plus P through it. It was accurate. He hit what he was aiming at. But I'll be using standard 130 grain 38 special rounds. Let's make this happen. Uh, here we are at my little shooting area. Got the uh, Rock Island M200 38 special revolver here. I'm going to shoot two cylinders of 130 grain uh, Remington 38 special rounds and uh, well let's see what she does all right Not so bad. Pretty good ejection. Uh, that last round, that was a uh, double action. Did pretty good with it. I can't hold the revolver up and show me, show y'all reloading. <laughs> yeah, YouTube's getting pretty strict. They don't even want people to uh, show removing a magazine and inserting another one into a semi-auto so it's just the way it's getting these days yeah all right six more
12 shots, 12 hits. What do you say we wrap this up? All right, let's hope, go ahead and get this wrapped up here. And uh, let's get this out of the back pocket. Oh well, by the way, my garage gun for tonight, the Ruger SR45, a real sweetheart. You know what, uh, since I ain't got my Glock with me, I can't send my customary shout out to Scotsman, but I think I have something much better. Hello, Scotsman. <laughs> uh, you ain't gotta worry about Scotsman drinking any Bud Light. He's too cheap to even buy six of these damn things. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that just exploded. Uh, that bottle of Bud Light's probably been sitting up here about four years. My buddy Joe left it here. Of course, he's not liking the Bud Light jokes either. <laughs> anyway, speaking of Joe, I want to thank him for letting me borrow this for this video. I also made another video with this uh, while I had it. So, Joe, once again, thank you very much. Uh, this Rock Island M200 does show some promise. Uh, they've fired well. It's a little bit lighter than I expected. It come in at uh, 28 ounces. But uh, hammer and trigger action was pretty good on it. I still think the uh, trigger and hammer action was somewhat better on the, my Taurus. But like I said earlier in the video, I don't think this has had that many rounds put through it, you know, to begin with. He acquired it in a trade and uh, Something with a finish like this, you can usually tell if it's been shot a lot or not. And I really don't think this has been shot a lot. So as uh, time goes on, uh, hammer and trigger action should get smoother. Uh, it seemed very accurate, as you saw from the earlier part in the video. 12 shots, 12 hits from 10 yards. And uh, it just worked very well. Uh, I could see myself recommending this if it was mine and... I had three or four hundred rounds put through it. Revolvers are usually pretty dependable. Now, uh, as far as Rock Island goes, the only downside I've heard about this and their M206 Snubby uh, version was uh, cylinder sometimes gets out of time. But uh, the timing on this cylinder seems to be right on. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, Joe, thanks for letting me borrow this. I really enjoyed shooting it. And uh, maybe we'll get together here before long and we'll put some more rounds through it. And one more thing before I do go, uh, like I said earlier, this is not rated for plus P, but Rock Island's like, if it's what you carry, that's fine. As long as you don't put a steady diet of plus P through this, you should be all right. Well, listen, I'm Mark, Garage Guy 879. Thanks a lot, for everybody, for stopping by and tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative. All right. Until next time, my good friends, when you go shooting, please be safe.